Welcome back to What's on Emmy's Table. Dessert time. We're going to make individual apple crisps. It's going to be so good. Let's get started. So I have my saucepan ready to go. Has some sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. And I'm going to add to that about a quarter cup of water and a teaspoon of lemon. And we're going to stir that until it gets bubbly. I'm just going to stir this until it gets a little bubbly. And after we stir this and it smooths out and get nice and bubbling a little bit thick, a little bit syrupy like, I'm going to add the apples and the walnuts. And you have to stir this constantly. You don't want it to burn, you don't want the sugar to scorch or anything like that. We're still stirring. Everything is nice and dissolved and it's starting to get a bit thick. And it's coming to a bubble now. That's what we want. We want the bubble with a little bit of slight boil. And then we're going to add our... Nice, nice. We're going to add our apples. So we're going to add our apples. It's about two cups of apples. We're going to add our apples. We're going to add our walnuts. We're going to stir that around. I have my heat on medium high. I'm going to cook them a bit. We don't want to totally cook these completely. That's not the point of this. It's just to get it coated and get it a little soft. And get some of that walnut flavor loose in there. That's what that's for. So we have this little mixture all ready to go. And we're going to set it aside. Let it cool. It smells so good. We're going to set it aside, let it cool, and then we're going to do the, the top. Apple started to cook down a little bit, and that's what you want it. We don't want to cook down no further than this right here. I'm going to take this off the heat and let it cool. This is what you want. You don't want apples cooked down to all the juices out of it, and, and it's watery you don't want that you want this and it's just cool so in this bowl we're going to add sugar white sugar granulated sugar dark brown sugar flour nutmeg cinnamon a little bit. I'm also going to add some uh, walnuts in here too. I think that'll be pretty cool. So my almonds, you can or if you choose to use almonds, you can. I'm going to say about four tablespoons of melted butter. I think that's what I put in there. I'm just going to mix this up. Okay, this is getting on my nerves. We'll do it like this. That fork was getting on my nerves. It was truly getting on my last nerve. I was trying to be primp and proper, but 
it wasn't working out. This is going to be the top for our crumble. Actually, it's, it's more like an apple pie, really. Let's call it miniature apple pie. <laughs> okay, that's how you want that. See, that fork wouldn't have done that. The, the fork just would not have done this. And I was trying to be nice for the video, but can't always do that. There we go. That's what we want. I have my little ramkin. Ram I call them ramkins. I don't know how to pronounce them. I have my ramkins. We'll be using these right away. Aren't they just the cutest? I just love cute cookware. That one's still wet. We have our oven on 350. A roaring 350. We're going to fill these up with the apple and walnut mixture. I love doing individual desserts. You know why? Because it makes folks feel, makes folks feel, it makes folks feel special. They have their own dessert all to their itty bitty selves. These filled in, filled up. I lined my 1,000 year old cookie sheet with parchment paper. Y'all know what? If y'all have bakeware that gets to be a thousand years old, don't throw that away. Mm -mm. Don't throw it away. Keep it. Keep it. Okay, so I like to do is this. Pulled away from the edges a little bit. Make the apple sit up some more. That's what I like to do. You know, you make the mile high, like those mile high apple pies. I can't talk tonight. My lips not working. The mile high apple pies. Okay. Alrighty. So let's take our crumbs. Make sure you clean your cookie sheet off. I'm going to just start off with this on the edges. That's why I moved the edges out the way. So I can get that in there. But we're going to come back and top this off. Get some of those edges. And everything that I spilled, I'm going to pick it up and put it Put it on here. I could have made some more uh, crumb stuff. I sure could have. I certainly could have. I could have these packed to the ceiling. Those up a little bit. I'm doing some cute little dishes. I love cute things. Some cute little dishes. Put that in a little now. And I have the rest of my itty bitty mix here. That's it. Gonna put these in the oven at 350, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. It's gonna cook down, it's gonna be nice and bubbly. Y'all, I think I'm gonna call these miniature apple pies instead of apple crumbles. That's what y'all think? I think I went a bit beyond a crumble. You eat apple crumbles, you don't cook the apples. You don't heat up all that stuff with apple crumbles. Okay, here we are. All done, our individual crumbles. They smell so good.
individual apple pie. I just named apple pie. We're not going to eat the other ones right yet. Do y'all not love my cute little set here? Do you not love this? Do you not love my set? I love little cute serving dishes. All right. This is what's on Nanny's table. Till we meet again. What's on your table? Apples. Apples are not overdone. They're not overdone at all. Mmm, it's hot. Anyway, I'm very satisfied. I'm very satisfied for how this came out. Hope you try it. Hope you try it. Let me know. This is what's on Nanny's table. <laughs>